Item number, SCP-826, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-826 is to be kept in a 25cm by 25cm safe with a numerical keypad lock. The combination for the lock will be given only to those with level 2 clearance and will be changed on a weekly basis. Description. SCP-826 is a 20cm by 15cm pair of bookends, molded in the shape of two outward-facing dragon heads. Scrapings from the surface of SCP-826 revealed a composition of 99% tin, 0.5% copper, 0.3% antimony, and 0.2% lead, consistent with high-grade pewter. However, it is unclear whether SCP-826 is solid pewter or whether the pewter is merely a plating for some unknown element, which gives the SCP its properties. When a subject places a book between SCP-826, touching both ends, and leaves the room, SCP-826 will, in an instantaneous process, convert the interior of whatever room it is currently located in a room defined as an enclosed area, into the setting of the contained book. Any form of entry into the room will instead open into a random location within the book's setting. During this transformation process, SCP-826, along with the contained book, will relocate to another part of the book's setting, showing a preference for places where books are normally found. Libraries, studies, etc. To reverse the effects of SCP-826, a subject must remove the book from SCP-826, then exit whatever room SCP-826 was found in. The subject will find themselves outside the original room of SCP-826's containment, while SCP-826's containment room will be restored to normal. In addition, the subject will find themselves at a random temporal location in the book's plot ranging from the beginning to near the end of the book. If the subject does not find SCP-826 within the setting before the end of the book, SCP-826 will reset the setting, starting the book's plot over. The subject will then be incorporated into the book as a background character, losing all memories of a previous life outside of SCP-826. Researchers studying SCP-826 are advised to enter the results into Experiment Log 826. Experiment Log 826 Head Researcher Dr. Subject Agent Book Little House on the Prairie Equipment One GPS locator One two-way radio One canteen filled with water One watch one 9mm semi-automatic with extra cartridges. Results Upon entry into the affected area, all communications and transmissions immediately ceased. After a period of five minutes, Agent emerged from the door unharmed. Agent was dropped in the middle of a prairie with a green smudge off to the west, presumably the Verdigree River of the book. Agent walked towards the river for approximately an hour, before coming across an individual claiming to be Charles Ingalls, who invited him for dinner. Agent accompanied Ingalls back to his home, a log cabin in the prairie, where he met the rest of his family and discovered SCP-826 sitting on the mantelpiece. When Agent pointed out SCP-826 to the family, they claimed SCP-826 was not there before, but did not appear concerned about its presence. Agent then ate dinner with the family, and afterwards, asked if he could take the SCP-contained book with him. The family allowed him to take the book. Agent proceeded to remove the book from SCP-826 and exit through the cabin door into the research team's room. The display time on the watch is consistent with Agent's report that he had spent several hours in the setting. Addendum Examination of the affected copy of the book reveals an additional paragraph in the book's midsection describing Agent visit. 
in language consistent with Laura Ingalls Wilder's style. No mention is made, however, of SCP-826. Agent is simply described as having dinner and leaving. The textual deviation is unique to the affected copy of the book. Subject Agent Movie The Shining DVD Equipment One GPS locator One two-way radio One canteen filled with water One watch One 9mm semi-automatic with extra cartridges One video camera attached to Agent's hat Results After Agent entered SCP containing room GPS and radio proceeded to malfunction as in previous experiment. After roughly 30 seconds, Agent exited the room and gave video camera to research team. Tape was playable and contained the following footage. Agent enters into a hotel room from what appears to be a closet and, after exploring the room and confirming she could not exit through the closet, leaves the room. Agent continues down hallway and eventually arrives in hotel lobby. Agent explores behind front desk and enters hotel manager's office, where SCP-826 sits on shelf beside hotel ledgers. Agent removes DVD from SCP-826 and exits through office door into research room. Addendum Examination of DVD copy revealed no major plot deviations most likely due to the fact Agent did not interact with any of the characters. Experiment demonstrates that SCP-826 can work on DVDs as well as books. Subject Agent L Book The Mammoth Book of Comic Fantasy A Collection of Short Stories Equipment One canteen filled with water One watch One 9mm semi-automatic with extra cartridges one video camera attached to agent's headset. Note: Use of GPS locator and two-way radio discontinued due to their uselessness in previous tests. Results: Agent L returned after 7 minutes, having experienced and recorded just over 9 hours. Examination of the recorded footage reveals that the agent experienced a portion of the short story, The Eye of Tandila and was forced to defend himself from temple guards, killing two. This caused the alarm to be raised, and though Agent L was able to retrieve the book from a temple library and escape, the protagonists were apparently caught and executed. The altered copy of the book now reflects this change, although the cause of the alarm is not mentioned, with other stories remaining unaltered. It should also be noted that the book now contains seven fewer pages than a standard, unaltered copy. Dr. requests that further experiments be performed with books of short stories to determine whether the entire book will be experienced, or just a single story, if the book is not recovered from SCP-826 before the story's end. Head Researcher Dr. Edison Subject Agent M Book The Sword That Shoots Laser Beams When You Swing It A three-page short story written by Dr. Edison The story consists of a poetic description of a sword that shoots laser beams when swung. The story states it stands on a pedestal as thousands of years pass uneventfully. Equipment One canteen filled with water One watch One video camera attached to agent's headset Results Subject is instructed to retrieve the aforementioned sword, test its magical properties, and then bring it out. Subject enters door and returns five minutes later with the original story and sword. Testing proved that sword, when swung in an arc greater than 45 degrees, emits a beam of radiation consistent with the output of a CO2 laser. Sword has since been assigned to Dr. Edison for further study to determine energy source, laser medium, and optical resonators. Video logs show that the sword in question matched textual descriptions, including the ability to shoot laser beams, and that Agent M did indeed bring the sword with him. The story itself remains unchanged, 
except for a paragraph about a man matching Agent M's description stealing the sword and taking it to parts unknown. Sword has been dubbed SCP-826-1. Addendum. Scientific testing has proven inconclusive. Molecular analysis shows that SCP-826-1 has a molecular structure consistent with laser printer paper, the medium the original story was printed on, yet behaves like high-grade steel in all other respects. The laser beam, on the other hand, acts like a CO2 laser in all respects but speed, which is clocked at a mere 60 kilometers per hour, far slower than conventional lasers. Attempts to collect this energy have proven futile, as energy dissipates within seconds regardless of hitting a target. Of further note, Agent M has come under the delusion that he is a man named Galthor from the kingdom of Zolgorn. Agent M has insisted on the return of SCP-826-1 to his homeland and to be released from whatever foul sorcery he has been placed under. All attempts at treatment have proven futile. Dr. Edison requests that all further testing with SCP-826 is to be done by D-Class subjects. Addendum 2. At precisely on exactly 72 hours from Agent M's last trip into SCP-826, Agent M and SCP-826-1 simultaneously disappeared. No trace has been found of the two and Agent M's existence has been stripped from all Foundation records, including backup copies. The story used in the test is in all aspects identical, barring a mention that the man's name was Galthor. Once again, Dr. Edison suggests that further testing of SCP-826 is to be done by D-Class subjects. Subject D-826-1 Book the Sword That Shoots Laser Beams When You Swing It, a three-page short story written by Dr. Edison. Same copy that resulted from previous test, alterations and all. Equipment. One canteen filled with water, one watch, one video camera attached to subject's headset, one police issue X-26 taser, loaded. Results. Subject is asked to retrieve Agent M. Subject does not return after five minutes. Agent C enters SCP-826 and retrieves the story without incident. Story now has additional details on a man in strange garb, trying to stop Agent M with a magic weapon, hereby unknown to man, which matches a description of X-26 police taser. Story then describes Agent M injuring D-826-1 with SCP-826-1 before, quote, locking him in the foulest of dungeons in Castle Hyleth, end quote. Recovered footage confirms incident. Subject D-826-2 D-826-3 D-826-4 D-826-5 D-826-6 and D-826-7, all of whom have military training. Book The Sword That Shoots Laser Beams When You Swing It, a three-page short story written by Dr. Edison. Same copy that resulted from previous test. Equipment Six canteens filled with water, six watches, six video cameras attached to subjects' headsets, six police issue X-26 tasers, Loaded. Results. Subjects successfully apprehend Agent M and D-826-1, leaving SCP-826-1 behind. Story acknowledges all changes, describing six rogues who clamored to avenge the blood of their fallen brother, capturing Agent M. Addendum. Agent M still experiencing pathological delusions and remains convinced that he is a knight named Galthor. Likewise, D-826-1 claims to be a blood wizard named Rothmorn, seeking to claim SCP-826-1 to himself. D-826-1's X-26 taser has turned into a magic staff capable of shooting lightning, 
and is hypothesized to have physical properties similar to SCP-826-1. Item has been labeled SCP-826-2 and has been sent to site for further testing. Also, subjects D-826-2, D-826-3, D-826-4, D-826-5, D-826-6, and D-826-7 are now claiming to be Knights of the Throne sent to aid Galthor. Addendum 2 As in the previous experiment, Agent M subjects D-826-2, D-826-3, D-826-4, D-826-5, D-826-6, and D-826-7, and SCP-826-2 disappeared at on again exactly 72 hours from exiting SCP-826. Story now says that Galthor was indeed accompanied by six Knights of the Throne, who were armed with arcane weapons given to them by the good wizard Edisongrad. All researchers that had been handling SCP-826-2 or SCP-826 are accounted for. Further monitoring of researchers handling objects from SCP-826 is recommended. Okay, seriously. How did that thing know my name? I'm sure I didn't tell it to either of the agents. And I'm damn sure that I didn't tell any of the subjects. I know this turns up so much in our line of work that it's kind of cliché, but I think the thing might just be sentient. Dr. Edison Head Researcher Dr. Aaron Torres Subject D-87631 Material A copy of A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin Equipment One military-grade saber Results The purpose of the test was to determine how significantly SCP-826 will allow alterations to the main storyline. Test subject was instructed to disembowel the first person it saw in the work. Upon entering, subject found itself in a circular room, alone with the character Lord Eddard Stark, who was unarmed. Subject attempted to stab Stark, but tripped and fell before he could do so. Subject recovered and tried multiple times to approach Stark, but tripped on multiple inconveniently placed objects. Subject eventually managed to stab Stark, but apparently only gave a minor wound. Subject retreated from the room and eventually found the book in a library within the castle. Upon retrieval, the text itself had not been significantly altered. The only recorded changes to the text were multiple new paragraphs regarding an attempt on Stark's life by, quote, a rather unintelligent and bumbling assassin. Presumably, SCP-826 will adjust settings and events in minor ways to prevent major changes to the work's core continuity. Head Researcher Dr. King Subject D-48279 Material The Odd Couple by Neil Simon Equipment One Head-Mounted Camera Results Subject arrived in a landscape consistent with pioneer-era America. He encounters a man traveling down a road, matching historical descriptions of Jonathan Chapman, who greets the subject and continues walking. Subject sees SCP-826 in the branches of a nearby tree, then returns to the testing chamber through a passage in the hollow of said tree. The book originally placed in SCP-826 is found to have been replaced with a modified copy of Johnny Appleseed by Rosemary Carr Benet. Head Researcher Dr. Praetorius Subject D-21094 Material Death by the Book by Juliana Deering Equipment One canteen filled with water, one watch one video camera attached to test subject's headset. Results Upon entering, the test subject returned after 15 minutes. After interviewing the subject and reviewing the footage, it was discovered that the beginning of the novel was the first location found by the subject, being the murder scene that is investigated by the main characters and sets the stage for the remainder of the book. 
The characters, being from a 1930s period piece, reacted inquisitively to the D-class alien clothing and behavior, but did not impede the subject's examination of the surroundings. In fact, at one point the investigator, Chief Inspector Birdsong, interpreted the orange jumpsuit worn by the subject as meaning they were from the coroner's office and encouraged them to wait nearby until he was finished examining the crime scene. It was at this time that video showed the murder weapon used in the crime and sitting next to the body, originally written as a marble bookend shaped like a bust of William Shakespeare was in fact one half of SCP-826. The novel that had been entered was lying on the floor, roughly halfway between the murder weapon and the other half of SCP-826. The test subject immediately retrieved the novel, despite the protests of the characters, and exited the novel before they could react. Upon examination, the novel now contained an additional character to the first chapter described as an opportunistic thief who took advantage of the crime to pilfer the belongs of the deceased. Of special note is that the murder weapon was now a handsome bookend of particular high quality. This is the first reported incident of SCP-826 integrating itself into the plot of a novel. It might be an indicator of sentience or merely the narrative taking advantage of the fact that the SCP is identical to an item already in the novel. More testing is suggested. Head Researcher Dr. Korn Subject D6187 Material An attempt to deal with a problem, a four-page booklet that details the adventures of a small boy who finds a stick which instantly and permanently kills any lizards it comes in contact with. Equipment. One head mounted camera. Results. D6187 did not return, and no video stream was received by the designated receiver. Upon the conclusion of the book, three days, 14 hours, and 15 minutes later, no characters matching the description of subject were found within the text of an attempt to deal with a problem. The phrase, Nice Try was written in red ink and 92.6 point Comic Sans font across the second page. Head Researcher Dr. Kerbatov Subject D1916 Movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarves DVD Equipment One Human Heart Results D1916 30-year-old white woman, went through several plastic surgeries that made her a copy of Scarlett Johansson, a famous actress. The purpose of the experiment was whether SCP-826 could allow an outside subject to take the place of the main character of the plot, if it turned out to be more suitable for the conditions forming the plot. In this case, it was checked whether D-1916 could be more beautiful than Snow White. Since D-1916 was not a princess, the queen didn't send her to the forest with a hunter. Instead, she ordered D-1916 to be executed for the attempted murder of the queen and the dismemberment of an unknown nobleman. The heart given to D-1916 was used as evidence of dismemberment. After that, the plot goes almost unchanged, although the hunter mentions that criminal and that Snow White expects the same outcome as her. Subject D3721 Movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarves DVD Same copy that resulted from previous test. Alterations and all. Equipment One police issue X26 taser. Loaded. Results D3721 is asked to save D1916. After D-1916 was rescued, the disc was shattered. At the same moment, D-1916 was torn apart, after which she disappeared. Addendum Unfortunately, even the destruction of the data carrier cannot save incorporated victims. Dr. Kerbatov Subject D-2380 
Material. No More Diseases. A short story about a box full of SCP-500, which stands in an abandoned hunter's house, on a hill near the forest in which no animal lives for a long time. Since the hunter shot everyone, and then died of hunger himself. The plot emphasizes that the hunter used SCP-500 to cure any disease. Equipment. One head-mounted camera. Results. The purpose of the experiment was to test whether objects pulled from history could be used for practical purposes. The subject was instructed to pick up a box of SCP-500 and take the box with him. The effect of SCP-500 was tested on two rabbits, two foxes, and two wolves. A personal file was created for each animal with a small dossier and a story about the purchase of these animals by the fund. Exactly 72 hours later, the box full of SCP-500, D-2380, and the animals disappeared, along with their personal files. In the story, there was a mention that the son of a hunter lives in a hunting lodge, for whom the hunter gave all the food when he could no longer find animals in the forest. The son of a hunter walks through the forest and watches foxes, wolves, and rabbits, and makes a promise to himself that he will not let them die, so as not to repeat his father's mistakes, but will start gardening using SCP-500 so that the plants do not get sick. Subject. D-1262 Material The Midas Rod A little story about a stick with a silver knob that turned lead into gold if it was touched with the knob. Equipment One head-mounted camera Results The subject took the Midas Rod and left the story. The rod was tested on three lead ingots. The transformation was successful. One ingot was melted together with an ordinary gold ingot, thoroughly mixed and poured into molds. One ingot was crushed by a hydraulic press. One ingot was melted into a ring. After 72 hours, two gold ingots, one gold plate, one gold ring, and D-1262 disappeared. In the text appeared a mention that the rod was found by a man with the name Ankh Urus who began to use it for his own benefit. Buying lead scrap, he turned it into gold, melted it down, and sold it. Ingots, a plate, and a ring are also mentioned in the text. Addendum. What was required to prove that any changes made by items from stories will make the changed ones become part of the story? Dr. Kerbatov. Subject. D-3126. Movie. Ants. Equipment. One canteen filled with water. One watch. One video camera attached to test subject's headset. One motorbike. Results. The subject is instructed not to come into contact with ants or termites until the picnic scene. A new scene has appeared in the movie. D-3126 rides up to Zed and Bala on a motorcycle. They were surprised by appearance of D-3126 in his transport, but D-3126 immediately left. Addendum. Interesting. This movie was chosen because the main characters in it are ants, and at the same time, there are people to some extent. The purpose of the experiment was to check whether D-3126 would be the size of an ant or the size of a man. Dr. Kerbatov. Subject. D-3088 Movie A video recording of D-3631, D-1716, and D-3088 discussing a football match for 10 minutes. At the beginning of the video, D-3088 enters the room. Equipment One video camera attached to test subject's headset. Results the subjects were surprised by 23088 in the same room, but did nothing, and did not prevent the real D3088 from taking the book. It seems that real people can't be integrated into the video with their participation, as this would disrupt the plot. Subject D3631 Movie 
a disc with a video recording of D-1716 entering the room, with SCP-826 on the table and taking the disc. Equipment One video camera attached to test subject's headset. Results There were two SCP-826 on the table instead of one. D-3631 took one of the discs and left the room. He was monitored for 72 hours. D-3631 was not integrated into the plot of the video. It seems that the object cannot integrate itself into the plot where it already exists. Subject D-3323 D-4434 Material The Adventure of the Golden Pince-Nez by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle Equipment One head-mounted camera Results Before the experiment began, all known information about D-3323 was collected into one file, after which a copy of this file was made. In the copied file, the name of D-3323 was replaced by the name of D-4434. Both files were printed out. D-3323 returned with Pince-Nez 20 minutes later and was placed under surveillance. Three days later, he disappeared with his Pince-Nez. The electronic file about D-3323 was damaged and could not be opened, and the paper copy of the file became blank sheets. At the same time, the files with the name of D-4434 remained intact. Subject D-4434 Material The Adventure of the Golden Pince-Nez by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle Equipment One head-mounted camera Results Before the experiment began, all known information about D-4434 was collected into one file after which this file was printed out. D-4434 returned with Pince-Nez 20 minutes later and was placed under surveillance. Three days later, he disappeared with Pince-Nez. The electronic file about D-4434 was damaged and could not be opened, and the paper copy of the file became blank sheets. At the same time, the files describing D-3323 in which the name of D-3323 was replaced by the name of D-4434, remained intact. Addendum Apparently, SCP-826 erases any truthful information that could confirm that the person embedded in the plot ever existed. At the same time, this effect doesn't work with information that has been deliberately changed to make it false. Dr. Kerbatov Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-825, Helmet of Disturbing Visions, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist. <laughs>